Welcome to the Sasabi Workers Master Degree Put Together Sing Along Fuck Fest. So far, this is the torso. Torso looks okay. Moving parts, not many. The there's a big piece here. The silver, uh, grey part here is was very difficult to put it together because I tried to cram it together, but it was quite difficult. I think there's some stress in this part here because of the cramming. The silver that you find here, here, and here was because of some marker, platinum from Daiso. It wasn't sponsored by them this video. No, nope, no. Nope. It's very cool, these little buggers here. They're strutting out because that's like, wow, I've never seen such a thing before. These small little things here. But it was in grey, so I had to like try to differentiate it from the other parts, so I painted it gold. Not a very good paint, courtesy of platinum markers, but uh, it was, I think, better than just vanilla grey. There's a part here that could have been painted, because that's a round thing there, maybe a gold or silver, but I don't want to take out the red parts here out just to get to that brown part there that has been divided in the middle because the big grey pieces inside the inner frame has trouble coming together. So you can see that there's some maroon here and some red here and weirdly enough there's this red here which is not a separate piece but it's the same piece as above here that is slightly not that red oh no actually it's slightly more red the bottom part compared to the bright red above. That down here, this red piece here, this I think is more red than usual. Maybe it's pick, being picked up by the camera, who knows. That's a sticker as you can see. Weird that these stickers here are for sticking onto plastic. And the red is not that different. But it's, it's slightly different from the bright red, but it's just weird. Why don't they just have a separate piece of plastic instead of uh, relying on the sticker? Who knows? And it moves a bit. There's a, not very much the torso here. It's a bit weird. And there's a back part here. There's a big hole here for the gimmick, which is this. Two batteries, two screws, but only one hole. So extra screw for screwing around. Turn it on, it works. Yay. Whoa. I feel like I'm in a alien movie. Bzz, 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 bzz. Cool. Eh? The green color is cool. It's like a green. So cool. But I don't have a chance to test it out because I haven't done the it yet. But this is very, very cool. This is the first time I'm using something like this. I've done the, the what should we call it? Uh... What do you call those things? Huh? Uh, Quants? No, no. Double risers that comes with a lot of all these things. And they don't come with batteries. So it's nice and thoughtful of them to actually include the batteries. I can't include for that one. That one comes with what, maybe five, five of these that requires two batteries. That means maybe five times two equals ten batteries. That's nice, Daban model. Thank you very much for including the batteries which I did not bother looking for in Malaysia at all because I don't give a shit. But since it came with the unit, might as well just dump it in and test the green LED. Nice one, Daban. Nice. Okay, this is uh, not so much articulation for the torso part. Doesn't move much at all, but it looks nice. It actually looks like a head. Yeah, looks like a head indeed. It doesn't move much at all. This uh, hand here, and this one here is a uh, neck that goes on top, which I haven't done yet. Oh, it's supposed to go like so underneath it, simple and just like so. I don't have a head yet. Put it like on top, like so, and that's pretty simple. Uh -huh. 
Wait, does it? Wait. And that's about it. Doesn't go in that well. Or maybe it needs to go in further. Ah, who the fuck knows? Oh, there's a particular... You can't just dump it in. You have to dump it in in a particular way. So that it fits. Let me look at the manual. It has all types of advice for you. Good advice, bad advice. Fucked up advice. And still not happening. God damn it. I think I got it. Uh, I think it will fit in quite nicely. Uh, bear in mind these grooves here. Why is it in one color? Why is it only gray? Couldn't have made something different, you know? Maybe color it something else besides grey. Does it come with something other than that color? Is it supposed to be all grey? Uh, yep, it's supposed to be all grey. God damn it. I could have done something else with that piece. So it's all grey. But it's a different piece. You can just take out this hosing here and color it differently. But I'm not going to do that. Just dump it in. So, there's a gap here, hopefully it closes in, or not. Hmm. Okay, just imagine it's quite in snugly. Why is it not going in? Is it because of this? It's weird. Really weird. It's always a problem, you know, trying to fit it in. How to design something else? Something bloody else. That I mean, I had this the same problem with the 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 double risers and also the seven swords when it comes to putting all these things inside the Gundam. It's very annoying. They should design something else some other LED system and not this one this one shapes like it's not a good shape and it's confusing it's really confusing it pisses me off sometimes most of the time I follow the instructions to the letter T and still it's not that ah come on go in ah is it happening? Ah, it's happening. Yes! It's now okay. Stamp it in and no more gap. Slip it in. It's kind of like loose actually. I don't know what you can do actually to make it less loose, but it's kind of like loose. Maybe because the grey part here is supposed to be tighter and that's why now it's a bit loose. Uh, so this one is for the torso. Supposed to be maybe a blaster here. Who knows? It's kind of like weird. There's no spring to hold uh, these things here. And again, as usual with all these couplings, there's always the. You cannot escape it. The what should we call it? The nub marks for the hosing or whatever you call it. So it's kind of like weird because this part here is just. It is this you can just take it out like so you can remove it like so and it's like so it's a hard plastic so you don't need to like really secure into this part here or this back part here so it's you can just take it out like so you see you can just take it out it's easy it's hard plastic it just snaps into place so it's not like really fastened into it so weird and this one is supposed to go in see the silver here and the grey here it's different stuff and isn't it supposed to be transformable 
I don't feel that it's transformable. It's, everything is locked into place. Ah, now my. Let's cut it. Put it inside. Like so. And that's all. See, it doesn't move at all. What's the point of the torso? You know, there's a torso, the f the breast part and the abnormal part. There's like connected by some kind of swivel, supposed to swivel left and right, but since it's like so, it cannot do anything at all. It does not swivel. It's one big piece of. It looks like the Anubis for the Zone of Enders robot, kinda. Okay, it's time to do the hands. Uh, there are two pieces here. Uh, silver and maroon. It was quite difficult to put it together because I had to align the parts here with the outer part here. When you buy it, you know, I had to cut off some parts just to make it fit and uh, maybe it will fit, maybe it will not. It's not really a perfect fit. You look at this part here. It's not like covering this small little gap that you can see through unfortunately but it is what it is. So I'm going to do a build. This is a couple of parts. This is uh, this one connects to this one here. So this is the shoulder thing, and uh, this is the elbow. Yeah, I can't like paint it gold. This thing here, unfortunately, but because it's only like one pe one whole big piece. There are pistons here. It's all one color. Unfortunately, again, it would be nice if it was a different color. And the pistons do not come out easily, and uh, it's quite a simple mechanism. The this is very simple. It's just plug in to here. It's connected to the long part by this thing here. So it's just put it in, and it won't come out. But I prefer if Bandai were to make it a different colored piston. You know, either make this silver, and this is dark gray. It would be nice instead of one whole color. You can't see much of the 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 piston uh, work or piston moving because it's just the same color. It's difficult to differentiate it. Gold here, silver, a bit of silver here is what I've uh, put on using marker. So let's put it together. How does it work? Da -da -da -da. Okay. Put the black part. At the back here, in excuse me, back case of the burps. Uh, is it right? I think so. <laughs> That's the bends. Doesn't look that in. Push it in some more. A la 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 long, a la 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 long, 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 long. Mm. I can't, I can't put, I can't play the music because I scared the copyright uh, system of this YouTube channel uh, can like detect music, and that will f things up. Small pieces like this one here, which I painted silver in some parts. I have to put it into this hole here. Like so, is it correct? Uh, yes, it is correct. It's actually part of the mechanism that gives it a separable armor on the wrists. So this is very important. It moves out and in. That's all. Moves in, out, and I'm going to super glue this to the armor because. You have to, if you don't want it, don't want armor to pop out of this small little hole here. This is a smaller hole where the armor goes into, so we have to like super glue it so it will be easier to play with. So next up is uh, poly cap, which is this one here. Just slide it in like so. That one will be for the arm, uh, for the hands, which I've gingerly delicately uh, put it out of its misery and put it together so it's always scary to put in this I think it's called 3.0 no hands I'm not sure don't quote me on that I might be wrong 
Next up is this black part here. I'm consulting the manual as I'm doing this. So, uh, how does this work? Okay, okay, got it. Just plug it in. Wait, am I correct? No, I think it's supposed to be like this, maybe. No, it's supposed to be like this. So, go in, please. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm looking at the manual. It's oh, asshole! I got it wrong. It's supposed to be like so. That is why it was fucked up. And yes, got it. Nice. Gray. You can see the holder. That's where the hand is supposed to go into. Next up is uh yep we have to push it in these parts here next up is uh these ones here this this part here the white part here i painted it white and silver here i painted it myself yep the silvers are painted thrusters orange thrusters go into the white part to give it a white inner thruster look yeah, I'm going for white instead of the normal silver or gold so that I can see inside the thrusters which is like orange. Why is the thruster orange? I have no idea. Next up, yes, this part here has already been done. One and two piece, two pieces here. Very difficult to put it together and align it properly and it might not align properly. And once you put it together all the way, you can easily take it out or separate the parts because the silver is already deep inside the burgundy part so shit get this part here this one goes inside between these ones and you look at this there's nothing here and once I slide it in there will be something and there it is you see a bit of silver here silver here as well uh, wait it, I did not put it properly Okay, now it's properly put. So, see the silver here? That's why I painted it. Instead of gunmetal, if I'm not mistaken, it's silver at least. Looks nicer and more contrast on or around this black piece here. So, that's why I colored it silver. Next up, the piece here goes over everything. Yeah. Like so. It's gonna be quite gingerly. Uh, yeah. When this goal here is next to it, then that means it is okay. I hope. Okay. Maybe I need to push it in some more. Maybe I'll stress everything or I will kill my own fingers. It's not really that perfectly aligned, unfortunately. Shit. You can see this goal here, this part here is not aligned into it. So, uh, I think the black part has overshot into the piece. So I have to push it out again and hopefully it will align properly or not who knows <sighs> okay fuck it i don't care eh? wait a minute what was that sound it came out again what? okay it wasn't snugged in properly at all shit so i had to put in again Is it in? That's what she said. So move it around and see whether it pops out again or not. Who knows? Okay, dokey. I think it's okay. Silver might come out. Okay, 
I think that's okay. There's a cover for the biceps here. And notice the piston. Bicep here does not cover the piston properly. Like so. And that's how it should look. You can see a piston. Again, I wish that they would like have a different color thing. This one, the cufflinks here, goes into this part here. Uh, will it fit snugly? I do not know. Notice there's, there's a big hole here, that's for the beam saber, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, this part here, for the bottom red cufflink area. So, like so. And if it does not cover the whole thing, that means Houston, we have a problem. Okay, it's not like... It's not happening, okay? Fuck. Maybe there's too much here. You can see the stress part here is really white. Let's try to push it in. Ah, now it's pushed in. It's all in the way, but the other part, I presume it's not at all. So, shit. So we'll just meet halfway through, some parts on the left, some parts on the right, hopefully we'll meet in the middle and it won't close all the way so I don't expect it to because this is not Bandai, it's something else. Next up, the covers for this part here goes in this thing, these do move so I'm gonna push it like so, push it in that piece here make sure it's snugly in like so you can see it's a different rate from the burgundy here take it out again okay oh, fuck. and put some super glue onto spill some super glue on the paper so I have an excess of super glue you can put it on this defunct and an old blade Put some super glue onto this part here too. There'll be some frosting because it becomes white if you don't put it under uh, under uh, what called air current. So push it back in for quality control. Make sure it's the same alignment. So that you won't super glue and you can't like rectify the problem. Next up, push it out all the way because uh, you have to have you don't want it to like don't like don't want the super glue to like stick to the other parts and comes hell of a problem when you want to like re re remedy it because of the super glue situation. Okay. Okay, one part is finished, the other part needs to be super glued as well. Put some super glue on this part here, smudge it in, push it out again. Oh fuck, I've got some super glue on other parts. God damn it. I'll wipe it out. Because super glue is dangerous. The d -d -d dangerous. Got that ready this part here smudge it with some super glue and that's it push it in like so into the part here like so make sure your fingers do not have any super glue at all and there it is inside push it in just to have some quality control make sure it aligns properly and after that, push it out if possible. And make sure the super glue did not touch other plastic parts, making it unopenable in the future. If you want to display the thrusters, the yellow thrusters inside, or the silver ish type of inner frame. And after that, put it under a torrent of air in front of the fan. Like so. So bend it like Beckham put on top like so and that's how you make 
and brick um, the the stuff I don't know what to do with this excess super glue and for reference that's the high grade see a high grade I've painted it silver I mean sorry gold for this part here but I do not dare to like uh, touch the ones there <sighs> I'm such a cow <coughs> cow so now we have the shoulder and the hand all together in one I like it when they are like ingenuity ingenious no 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 when Bandai makes a mold that attaches the hand to the this part the shoulder part in a very specific excuse me fashion or shape that is not just round if it's round it goes everywhere but this one there is only one way to display or position this big ass shoulder pad armor thing because it has a specific shape here and there's a specific shape here when you combine it it's gonna be not loose not everywhere not all over the place and from there you attach it to a simple thing like so and voila everything is simple and then the symbol but good okay it's not a round it's not a universal vagina hole it's like that with a square on top it's great so for simplicity's sake it can go as much as this high up it can go down as this much like so and that's as low as it can go but this one here this extra thruster thing can go new down here and this is from the sides so this one you can see the thrusters in here it's great if I was able to like color those thrusters individually but it comes in three pieces unfortunately inside it is white so I painted it and I like the color separation silver here is what I colored gold of course I colored myself more armor no more color separation instead of the whole thing being gray at least around the piece here is gold so nice touch from me here there is a difference in color that's a sticker weird there's only one sticker here and the back also there's only one sticker there's a differentiation between this one here there are thrusters or blasters who knows and the back here is just one solid piece of square just this one is a nice touch it's been not symmetrical good stuff uh, how do you actually open this or does it transform yes it does and I haven't transformed it because it kind of like get get fucked up if I were to transform it you're not supposed to see the silver here inside here it's supposed to close all the way but uh, you can't because this is a uh, not a real tight fit it's uh, well not real fu tight fit or oh, oh okay uh, no 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 it can actually open up like so and that's about it I think to reveal some more thrusters inside and that's all and that's about it and I think this one is able to move out uh, because I saw some hinges move out in a way that is move out double god damn it is it able to go uh, No idea, okay, fuck it. I, I, I don't care about the moving parts. So these are the parts for the shoulders. Let's go do a tr whatever view this is. Cool. Except for the head, which I super glued some parts. The, this part here to the this part here. So this part is super glued to this part, so it'll be easier. This hand is not important. So all of this is for the shoulders. Yeah, so many parts. Nice. So I'm gonna do a live put together for the shoulder or it's called upper body which is really it's called upper body. Why? It's just shoulder armor. Oh never mind. Let's go and put it together. Hopefully without tragedy.
But with a bit of music for me. Uh, give me some music, baby. Wait, which one was it? Ah, yes, yellow fellas here and a part here. It's white because I painted it white, put them together. I think it's a bit too loud. Satisfying click. Uh, okay, we need to. Next up, uh, this part here. And this part here. Put it together. Shit. Doing gun plug can actually be bad for the fingers. It gives it makes it sore. Next up, another part. Big piece here. Silver was painted and gold was painted too. Uh, some of these little polycaps to connect the other thruster part into the bigger part so it goes underneath here same for the other part here there will be a polycap here which in this shape can hold the, the inner shoulder armor properly next up Thrusters from before is put about here if I'm not mistaken yes I'm not mistaken like so then the part that connects the shoulder armor gingerly to the arm is this part here put this one on the here who is facing the right way like so then after that into the uh, that's about it let's close this baby up like so hmm? nicely tight and we put a cap on it, it's a burgundy cap, it's dark red. Let's put it on. Is it like so? That's it. Next up, suck a big dick. No, 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 no. Don't need to do that. Ah, there's another part here. This one is a big one piece here. There's some uh, sliders here, which is quite interesting because it will facilitate the sliding of the stuff easily there's some lotion here that I got from my panko trip instead of using oil I think I'll use this one and see whether it works or not this lotion is not oily but it's kind of like a moisturizer maybe it works maybe it won't who knows just put a bit on the slider thing maybe it works maybe not maybe it will melt the plastic who knows God knows. Well, I'm just experimenting with lotion that's for dry skin. Maybe it will moisturize and lubricate this metal thing. Or not metal thing, this plastic thing. And make it easier to slide. So next... Oh, smells good. Next, uh, the silvery bits. Which is this one here. The slider, you see? This one's here, these things here is supposed to go onto this hole or slider here. 
so it's like so what uh, how does it work right now I'm confused uh, this hobby is not for retarded children okay they can't they can't like if I can't do it, you think a retarded child can? Fuck. Mm. Doesn't it work like so? Fuck this shit. Uh, I'm looking at the picture here, come on. Oh! F I got the wrong retardies. Okay, now I know this slider here is supposed to go on that. Down here, there's these ones here. So, fuck my ass. Put some lotion on the lotion on the motion and some fucking shit. Oh, fuck! Now it looks like somebody just came on my fingers. Be it boy or girl, who knows? I mean, in the sense of more than 16 years old okay when I'm talking about boy and girl uh, shit okay put some on here some lubricant for some ass banging and some on this fuck ah, fuck it I'm gonna lubricate my fingers too <laughs> not for finger banging I mean mm, it smells good now it's slightly slimy my fingers. Uh, what's happening now? Retardies. Uh, okay, okay. Put it like so. The other one is like fucking so. And la 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 la. Maybe I'm getting retarded from listening to American music. <sighs> so this one here aligned to line to this one here, so just align it. That's why it's supposed to move this big piece of shit. It's supposed to move, but it's difficult to move on the other part that I did not lubricate. So boys and girls, before you fuck the ass, lubricate it. Or it will be painful for the recipient of such ass fucking Ooh, she's a lucky devil, being ass fucked in the ass. Okay, so movement wise, it's not so smooth at all. Maybe needs a bit more lubrication, which I'm happy to provide. It smells good, makes your your thing smell good. I'm not talking when I say thing, is I say I'm referring to the dick. Because the dick is always the thing. The big D. D for directions. Uh, fuck it. Let's cram it in. It's like trying to find the fucking clitters. Okay. Should be lubric lubricated perfectly. Oh fuck. So perfectly that it just came out. Simpson now. Mm -hmm. Bloated like a dead corpse that has been underwater for years. Only finally got its got free of the whatchamacallit. The seaweed of the bottom river or the sea that has been holding my bloated corpse for years. So do I need to I don't need to super glue anything, okay? So, movement wise of this part here is slightly cumbersome and maybe full of fuckery, who knows? Ah, fuck, it came out. It's 
just like those times when suddenly you're fucking a girl and suddenly your cock just comes out flabbing out of a vagina it's very awkward ah okay please enter we position one's cock back into the fucking thing okay fuck it Ugh. Okay, enough of those moving shenanigans. Took me long enough. Next up. Uh, oh my fucking god, I forgot there's another sticker that I needed to put on top of. Son of a... Okay, fuck it. I can do it live. So there's a top part here that goes... You see this hole here that moves the thrusters here? Yeah, it's gonna go into this here, so yeah. So just put it in gently. It's like having sex for the first time. Can't find the fucking hole. Is it down? Is it down? Is it really down? Down? End up in the shit creek instead. To her chagrin and pain. Okay, it's done. Next up, there's another part, which is this one here. This already, there's a sticker, you see the sticker, that shiny bit, shinier than usual, that's the sticker, there's a small little sticker. So it's supposed to go below. Go down. And just pop in, like so, covering up everything. Oh, not everything, maybe, this one is missing. Ah covers better than the other part forget so I'm there's a sticker here from this effing thing that I need to put uh, which part was it aha uh -huh. now I know which part this part mm. so I'm gonna do that I'm not gonna do it in front okay maybe I'm gonna do it in front of the camera you don't need to bend the sticker much. You have a sharp looking weapon here called a hobby knife. Slid underneath to make it easier. Then tweezers. It's almost the same as trying to like separate the flaps in the vagina, trying to locate the clitoris. When you're doing that, don't involve, you can involve the tweezers, but don't involve the hobby knife because you wouldn't want too much of your girlfriend or your rape victim's uh, vagina. Oh, fuck my ass. It broke. Shit. Never mind, fuck it. Then gingerly place this effing sticker on the effing part here. Does it work? Does it work? Does it? Yes. No. Yes. No. 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 Yes. Uh, it's okay. Okay, maybe it's not so okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, fuck, 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 fuck. Now it looks like fucking shit. God damn it. This is like creased already because of the indentation. So we have to like cut it off some of that bloody excess plastic so it won't bubble oh, fuck. I like it I like the shoulders it's got a lot of parts but uh, it would should have more parts so that you don't need to resort to these stupid stickers so I fucking hate stickers it's quite complex Something that simple can be very, very painful. I'm not talking about sodomy and stuff. <sighs> Sticker that came out. Ah, fuck. Supposed to be one piece, now it's two pieces. Weird, weird, weird. I don't even like one piece manga. 
why do I why I do not like it is because maybe it looks a bit too cartoonish. If I I'm a buzzard kind of guy. Oh, buzzard needs more sex, and I'm not talking about tentacle rape or getting raped as a sacrifice. No, not that type of sex. I mean true romance, fucking you know. Intercourse, normal intercourse without monsters. So it's weird, it's just a sticker that is mm, negligible. So the excess plastic that is on makes a very weird looking bubble. So correct, correct it by cutting it out with a very sharp hobby knife. There you have it, or there I have it. Okie dokie, got it. Ah, the sticking has finished. It's time to carry on putting some parts together forever and ever. So let's uh, see. The front part here of the shoulder armor would have these fellas here go into that hole here <coughs> excuse me burping is good for elf it's better be out and in so dump it inside it's like a big dick oh it's very hard to put this in it's a tight fit No, it's stuck. Suck balls. Ah, it came out. Try and try again until you get it inside. That's the most important thing about Gunpla. If you do not see it once, try to fuck again. Ouch. Fucking asshole, son of a fucking bitch. Oh, shit. Push it in, push it in. You know, there's a singer by the name of Hyde from the Ansil, Japanese band. Looks like a girl, but uh, his voice is pretty good. Very, very magical, very unique. Until that, I don't think anybody else can sing his songs the way he sings it. Oh my the fucking shit! Ah, look at it. Ah, oh. push it in. Okay, got it, got it. Oh, fuck! It was painful. God fucking damn it! Okay, next up, uh, these ones here, yeah, easy, the back here is nothing, it's just a piece here like so, okie dokie, now the covers, let show, And all those uh, YouTubers or people who make videos for this Gunpla, they do not choose to like do it with the sound on because there will be a lot of cursing. A lot of it. Oh! I don't know why it does not like open up easily this part here. It's because it's being fucking blocked by by this, this armor here. So, what gives? Is it supposed to like go on? Maybe it can go out, who knows? Let me try. It can you can't open it up like very high up to expose the thrusters because it's been blocked by this fucking thing here. Without the damn thing it won't be blocked and it can go up as much, but maybe the engineer to right, like pushing it out, does not work. Does not move much. Oh, it does. Huh. Now it can open up even though with the armor. Cool. 
I must say push it out. Who knows? Okay. I don't know what's happening. Okie dokie. Everything's in place. Nice. So all the armors in the huge opening here. Nice. Everything's lovely. What's next? Next is the Yep, thrusters for the other inner shoulder armor. White soft. I painted it. Painting is a bit high tech. No, it's not hit painting. It's uh, marked it with a mark. So put it together. Fuck. Why don't you just make it into three pieces, yeah? So you can like paint all these thrusters instead of just one piece in three. You know something like what happened to the what call this one? Uh, wait, can't see. Uh, where is my Galgook? My Galgook is inside there. I'm not gonna show it to you. Fuck it. Mm. Ah, oh, fuck my ass, bitch. Ah, oh, got it. Now the trusters, the yellow ones, just put, put like so. I think it can usually come out quite easily, these trusters, because there's no click at all. So, see, it came out quite easily. God damn it. Super glue? Nah, nah. So, no, 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 it's okay. We don't have any, like, uh, what do you call that? Uh, Richter 8 type of. type of. Uh, Earthquakes in Malaysia, thank God for that. It's it's fucking safe, okay? There's no natural disasters except for very rainy seasons and maybe uh, not not many natural disasters at all, except for flooding. Which uh, thank God we don't have a river around here at all. This is a silver pot. Yeah, there's you can see there's a uh, rod there and there's a receiver about here. Yeah, I see this this nudge on is it a uh, receptacle or whatever you call it so you get this so you gonna like put it in around wait no this one is down this one is the one that's supposed to there are two here two receptacles it's for this one's here the sides here there's some stuff I can put it like so it's quite confusing I know again it's not for retards and this one here goes down below and sticks into the receptacle down below cool I think so when it's all in its receptacles or nudges or niche it's like like so you move it around so that it would be closer to each other like so and so and it becomes like so which is quite cool I think it's quite flimsy actually I wish it would be like harder you know it's plastic never mind so next up the covers which goes on top like so to increase its its what you call uh, toughness now I've been watching a, a comedy series called WEEP WEEP is Vice President uh, it's another acronym for the Vice President it's WEEP it's quite funny I've been chuckling a lot. The first season was quite hilarious. Normally I'm um, entertained by dirty jokes and whatnot, but this weep program or comedy by HBO is just blowing my ass off without it being too sexual at all. So it's great stuff, go check it out. Uh, why I was like, uh, never noticed it at all. Now it's season 5 or 4, I'm not sure. It's because of the Emmys. Emmys just came out. Now it's September, right? 2016. Emmys came out and I was surprised. I mean, 
I was uh, brought into the notice of this this show Weep because of the Emmys. It won a lot of stuff, so I downloaded it and watched it. I mean, uh, I subscribed to HBO Go, and this red armor needs to come out because it's not aligned properly. It's pissing me off. See a lot of people that make us bills, you know, they don't want to do it live, or if they do, they prefer to do it without the uh, sound because they'll be cursing a lot, or they prefer to do it like without the sound, it's just a highlight, you know, be cursing a lot and fuck Bandai, fuck this, fuck that, why are you designing it like this, blah 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 blah. It was very simple with the, what should I call it, high grade. But since it can open up the whatever parts, you know, it's uh, got gimmicks. It's more like complicated, and therefore can make it a bit fucky to put together. Uh, please, please. Just align yourself with that inner part, my Baduk. Okay, I think we are. Oh, I am okay. Okay, got it. <laughs> Last but not least, this one here. Uh, huh, how do you put this? Right, so it's a different shade of red. Okay, which is quite cool. You can stress up the armor when you're trying to like put it together. There are three little nooks and crannies here that uh, keeps it in place. So if it's not engineered or molded properly, it will be like, stressing the silver parts out. But what to do? So got it. It's done. What the fuck was that sound? That's the sound of my mom coming back from her hospital trip. Next up, you see here the poly caps that I put on the both sides of the inner of the stuff that goes in. If it's aligned symmetrically together and similarly, and just chuck it in, it's quite easy. No biggie. And there you have it. It just goes up and down, so not much complication in that. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Now it's time to like give it some black ink. Yeah. Finish done. Inky time or marking time. I don't think you see much difference when I mark it, you know, all these grooves and crevices. When you mark it, it will become like so. So on the left, oh, I'm not sure whether you're you seeing the left or right. The left is the marked one, whereas the right is the unmarked one or un. Excuse me. Un. Uh, un. Uh, pen aligned. Yeah, this is unpanel lined, this one here. This one is panel lined. So this one's here. I've uh, kind of like fucked up because uh, super glue, so shit. Super glue shenanigans, fucked up stuff. So it's kind of like. Uh, so maybe it will be permanently open like so 
Maybe. The thrusters do not actually move, so and closing it is difficult, so just leave it as it is. The hands are okay. It's not much, not much problems. So the whole hand is actually quite small compared to the wrist here, very big wrist. So that's the hand, bends like so, cool. Alright, next piece of the puzzle is the groin, or the pelvis or the asshole. Uh, the whites and silvers here, I painted it myself. The back here, there's some kind of uh, flap to the back, so cool. And like a perfect grade, it's got this one here, cool that you can move the part that connects to the pelvis or the leg. Same as here, it's not, uh, it's independent of each other. So you can move up or down, which is a nice touch. Nice touch indeed. Up here it's, well, just one big piece. It does not connect well into the this bottom piece here. And at least these parts here are not like separate pieces. This is one piece. It's not like the perfect grade uh, strike rule like that one. So thank God for that because it can be all over the place if these things here are separate from the one big piece. What else can it do? Uh, there's no opening here. You can't open this. I don't think so. So it's just one big piece of shit. That's it. Next part is this one here, the front skirt, nothing much, quite small and you can open and close it. This is from the downwards appearance or downward point which is like so. So you can just open to reveal some gold and silver and that's about it. This is as much as it can reveal. Nothing much to shout about, nothing much to shout about at all. It goes on to this part here, just clip it in and there you have it. One side, finish. Let's finish the other side. It's quite simple. There are only a couple of pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pieces. Very simple. So we have one piece here and there's a silver piece here. Let's put them together. I think this is how it works. Yep. Make sure it's really in. It's quite difficult to put in, but uh, it will happen. If not, then tweezers will be welcome to stress the plastic. Yes, it works. Next up, uh, let's consult the manual. Aha, here goes into here. You want the inner part of the yellow thing here? Is it a truster? I think it's a truster to be gold or silver. Just paint it now before you put <gasps> this one in. It's quite tight. Squeeze. It's quite difficult to squeeze it in, as usual. Let's use this one here. Okay. Next up, I think it's this part here. Which is this small little triangle thing here. It's supposed to go into this thing here. Quite confusing actually, you don't know which side it's supposed to go on. Aha, there you have it. Then this one here. Ah! Looks like it's supposed to be like that, right? But no, it's not like that. I think it's supposed to be the other side. Uh wait, let me see. Oh yes, it's supposed to go on to this hole here so it can move about. But it does not move a lot. Because this is as much as it can move. You can see this one here is supposed to be stopped by this hole here. So it doesn't move a lot. 
but if you were to like sand it off or just take that part out this thing here then you have you would have uh, lots of uh, places to go to like everywhere you know you can go anywhere but you only can are supposed to do it like this be limited by that much and not go all the way everywhere so you can easily just use your hobby knife and cut off that stub quite easily so this is for the part here gives it a cover And lastly, this part here to cover everything. Notice that the red is different from the side red. This is bright red, this is this red. Panel line it and everything is dandy. The gold here and the silver here is uh, marked markers, okay? Doesn't come with the kit. And there you have it. It's done. Open it. Like so. And that's all. The only other kit that has this type of a gimmick on the front skirt is the dual Gundam. Which is the I think it's a no, 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 it's not a dual gun, it's something else. Uh, I don't think anybody has a front skirt that behaves like this. Quite moronic, actually. This this thing here just open up, and there you have it a bit of inner frame, and that's about it. Nothing much to show for. It's like trying to show you the nipple, and you don't get to see the nipple at all, unfortunately. Because the nipple is the pinnacle and the apex of the breast, right? So. Yeah. <sighs> That's it. Next piece of the puzzle is this big ass fat as backpack back skirt thing. Haha. <laughs> it's not closing extremely well, but it does work. The yellow part here can come out quite easily, so maybe a bit of super glue is needed. Who knows? White is is marker I did that and you see there's some stress marks here you can see mm -hmm. it's inside there's a point of attachment between the male and the female like all intercourses there's a bright red uh, okay red here bright red here and maroon here so three colors yeah three colors you can see it properly I can even see it in a fucking LCD nice so the silvers inside here, all painted, not painted, a uh, marker, same as here, silvers, marker, instead of just being normal grey, it's boring, so must well put some silver on top, it's easy to achieve it, because you just have to like, brush your, the tip of your marker with it, and you won't touch the inner part, which is this original grey or gunmetal. Here the silver, uh, the gold here is painted, and uh, if you wanted to not have it as gunmetal in the middle, uh, you can just dig it out and paint. It's quite easy to do so. So what can it do, this thing here? I think you have to push it down because there's a piston here. Kinda. Oh, there's one thing here. This fellas here is like there's a tin piece of plastic. And you push it inside and it screw it inside and you can like what you might call it stress the big piece of meal part and uh, that's not good uh, it, it's very hard to push it in all the way so beware of that so how do you actually move or manipulate this damn thing this one here does some thrusters too so let's open this thing up, push it down, and that's, that's all. You just push it down, and you see the silver part. Uh, that's about it, actually. That's as uh, inner as it can go. Is the back part here, and the thrusters here can move about 
move a bit like so and I'm not sure why uh, why I'm not sure you can't see it actually but never mind it's kind of like blend this is within the ass you know blend it's just one big piece of shit so strange but never mind so you can get it get it seen so it's quite nice instead of one big piece as in this high grade uh, if I can Oh, fuck it, I'm not gonna show you on high grade, it's too much of a tr too much trouble. Okay, never mind, I'll just have to like uh, go and take this porcelain here and show it to you and uh, see the difference between these two things. Uh, yeah, this is just one piece, and now you can see all the separated pieces. Which of course you can like uh, make it nicer with different colors and whatnot. So cool as. Next up, let's tie this baby here to the ass of hole. It's just a simple thing. This thing here, which you can move like so. That part here is attached to the this part. Oh sorry, this part here. So easy peasy. Fucking easy. Uh. Shit. Uh huh. It's like a big dick, dude. How do you actually push it inside? Fuck. Oh, it's a part that kind of like hard to manipulate. It's just at its end uh, just push it in before this fucking shit okay it's in already okay so yeah we can just manipulate it to come out easily like so so we can do like so so the ass really moves out of the way you want to let's push it back inside oh you can even actually push it like so cool huh eh? oh. so you can move this red part here you can move up and down kind of and push it back into its un eh? okay, okay. how to actually push it back Easy, just push out, push in, easy peasy. There you have it, the ass. Hold. Nice. Push it back inside, click it in if you want to. Up to you. Next stop, the leg. Ah, finished it. So this is not the flat version, this is the crooked version when you are like dying or having rigor mortis your feet will be ee or when you're orgasming your feet will become curled like so see that there's uh these things here that's like i'm not sure why there is maybe oh yeah it's a space battle right space unit mobile suit so therefore it will grab onto some asteroid with the help of this one so let's make it straight close up the Asteroid grabber like so Okay, this one also close it like so flatten it out and like so Now it's already flat So it's nice that you have an option to close up all the claws Well, maybe not fully close this one is uh, particularly having a bit trouble getting flat but it's okay because once it's flat it's very difficult to take it out again because it's very small and you, ha you don't have any nails to actually take out this claw here silver is marker so this is also marker you could have uh, like silverized these parts here too but uh, the back here was just enough and uh, there's a piston here it was working but it's all in one color so you won't see any 
difference at all. So unfortunately, the front here also seems to have a piston, but that's just one piece. So that's not that important. Not something that you're right home about. So this one here is uh, it's just nothing much. That's, that's all. So let's go and build the god damn thing. The foot, as they are called. This is the foot. Many parts. Let's get on cracking. First off, let's uh, look at the bloody, bloody instruction. We have one piece here. And we have another piece here. This goes into this slot here. I think uh, that's how it works. Uh. Yeah, this one's the claw. Like so. Now the claw is open. Okay, next is the heel. Heel is this one here. Just uh, put it in like so. Uh. the heel, the back heel, what else, this one is the heel, what's that I'm talking about, let's see, next, this piece, which has been marked silver, poly cap, big one, put in here, So then this one here goes somewhere, I'm trying to find out where, I think at the back here, yes definitely, like so, and next one here, so the core of the feet and the back of it has been assembled. not really all in the way okay good next a small little thing here which is just uh, that has been colored silver oh fuck just align properly so we can go in easily Page. It is the back part of the heel. Oh, you can paint this little nub here, sil gold or silver, if you wanted to. But I really like. I'm not gonna take that out. Uh, this round part. up the front toes just put this in like so and cover it up so the bottom part of the toe it's a different red up is bright red down there is not bright red different shades of red it's called color separation there you have it Done. The toes are done. Next up is the claws for the front part. This is the front of the the foot. Front part of the foot. Shit. Let's 
It's quite simple. Dimple pimple. have a satisfying click nope it does not come with a satisfying click at all <sighs> next up is a very strange thing this part here is the inner frame of the foot and it's going to have to go in sideways you know because you look at them all the snubs uh, tubs here is like angle like so and not instead of this one it's like so at an angle is weird and these ones are painted by me it's going to go into the bottom of the foot it's weird it's very very weird it's going to look like this so i hate it when this this thing here is at an angle it's very hard to like put it together It's at an angle. Weird, weird, weird. Oh, thank God. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Okay, next. The foot. Into the front part. Like so. Okay. And that's the front foot and there will be a cover for the front here also at an angle to put it in it was straight it will be easier but this one is at an angle which will increase its stability once it's in it's already in you can't change it if you wanted to it will be difficult that's how the cookie crumbles and that's how you should peg your tent to the ground Satisfying click. Uh oh, okie dokie. Done. Next up, aha, more stuff. Wow, more stuff onto this darn thing. Oh, this one, this part here, the covers the front of the foot. There's a sticker at the side. That makes it a bit darker. This glossy part is the sticker. Uh, why? No idea. Why? Okay, done. And more cover for the foot. This time it's for here. It's very simple. Just push it in it might come out again so make sure it goes in all the way I hope it has gone all the way inside okay and oh, not yet the pistons here it's all in one color that's sad then the angle part, which is the last part, three parts left. That's good. This one is simple, just put a poly cap in here and close it up. You now, while I'm doing the parts, I'm listening to World War Z audiobook complete version. That's uh, very good audiobook to listen to because it's engaging and nice stories are good better than the movie the movie is okay but the, the book is like a thousand times better or the audiobook is a thousand times better both of them are a thousand times better than that Brad Pitt shit schlock so now it's done back heel here dump it into this poly cap here this huge poly cap Ding. Ah, 
push. Damn it. Ah, is it in? It's in. I hope. Ouch, my wrist. God damn it, couple syndrome. Next up, this one is a square hole for this part here, and there's another peg here for the square here. So all of them are square. In. In. Finish. Now we can work the piston. Then, lastly, this one that goes into this thing here. It goes into this here. Okay. Ah, good, good. Guten Morgen, here yeah, Heil Hitler. There you go, yay! Two feet makes dead corpse complete.